Welcome back to another tutorial on Infilm Express to satisfy all of your Minimator needs. So as far as I know, Minimator will be bringing back Bloom at some point, but until then, maybe you're looking for a better way to do it without having to stay in community build. If you're watching this just because it's a hit film tutorial, then I'm sorry for confusing you with Minimator stuff, but let's move on. So as you can see here, I've gotten a clip from one of my past animation videos. This is from Wolf Life 4. And uh, well, let's say that this is uh, what we wanted, but we wanted some bloom effects. Well, fortunately, right here in HitFilm Express, we can go over to effects. I'm just going to type in glow. And then you have different options here for what they have. And I'm just going to click on this glow one right here. I'm going to click and drag it, put it over my clip, and boom. You see there you got some glow going on. Well, very similar to how Minimator's community build was, you can change some of the parameters here to get different levels of glow that you want. You got the intensity, you got threshold, all that good stuff. See, so we can drag this around a bit. You got radius, you can make it bigger and smaller and all kinds of goodness like that. It's a pretty uh, nifty little feature. It works, from what I can tell, pretty similar to the way Bloom worked in uh, Minimator itself. So you might just have to play with some of these parameters here. And if I toggle this on and off, you'll see that we are getting a little bit noticeable effect there. But you can also change the actual blend mode. Right now it's set to screen. If I go to normal, it's gonna look different. If I go to add, it'll look even more different. Color burn looks really different. You can change this to whatever you want it to look like. I'm gonna go back to uh, screen, I think. Sometimes add might actually be kind of fun to play with. See how, how bright that is? Depends on what kind of look you're going for there. So I'm just going to put that back over onto screen. Maybe we'll bring up this a tad bit, maybe 0 0.5 or something like that. And there you go. But you also have some other features. Uh, I'm not going to get into the advanced thing here because personally I don't really know how much you'd really need to use that. We can make it horizontal so it's like this, make it vertical so it's like that. You can add some pretty cool nifty effects to it, but we're just gonna leave the advanced tab alone. And you can actually change like the color uh, that it's affecting. You can bring up the redness, you can bring up the greens, you can bring up the blues, and give your bloom or your glow a different color. So uh, that's another thing you can do. It gives you more customization than you might have had in Minimator anyway. So no more excuses for all of you. I'm staying with community build types. Uh, sorry to make fun of you, but you know, <laughs> that's how you sound. Anyway, so uh, there you go. That's how you can add some nifty, sweet, glow, bloomness to your Minimator animations and still use the new version of Minimator. All right. So there you go. Look at that difference there. And obviously this is a pretty subtle effect that I've gone with. But yeah. So hopefully that was helpful. Hope you learned something. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, 